Hey guys, so this week gonna get that garage door fixed so uh, it works a little easier and more reliable and uh, finally gonna get started on the Toyota pickup. Also, um, if you like this sort of thing, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, hope you enjoy it. If not, that's cool too. I'll be here either way. You have to be ready for Mondays. I am ready for Monday. Let's do this. All right, this looks goofy, but I'm going to remove this guy, clean this up, epoxy that down with some construction glue, and then I'm going to cover it with some plywood to fit. Screws down in there, hold it all together, and I'm going to bracket to this. So, um, the springs, they don't have enough tension on here, and you can see the cape, ooh, black widow eggs. Uh, that's a little shady right there. I'm not sure if I'll stick with that hook or not. Let's see over here. Uh, I'm probably going to have to get some cable clamps too. And this lag bolt, that's not even a lag bolt, I don't think. I don't, I don't trust this. Um, but look at these springs. There's just no tension. I'm super, super tired and weak, and I don't know what that, what caused that. Um, that's horrible. But I'm going to end up getting a couple of cable clamps and um, get a come along out here and pull everything a little bit tighter. And then uh, these, I think I want to put some screws in here instead of just nails. These are really old. Um, I'll probably pre-drill some holes, um, fill the holes with some glue, wood glue, and then uh, run some good screws in there and carry on for now. That's a beautiful sunrise. Just dropped the daughter off at high school and uh, we're all heading off to work. So uh, I'll catch you back at the barn once I get home. So got home Tuesday afternoon and the wind was just horrendous and some of these uh, Roofing panels have been a little bit loose, but the wind was ripping some of them right off. And uh, I tried recording some of this to make some verbal notes while I was filming this, but it was so noisy I couldn't even hear myself after recording it. It was horrible, horrible audio. So anyway, I'm just tackling some of this so I can get back to the good stuff. Yeah, and we all know what the good control. stuff is, and we're all anxious for me to get to it. <laughs> At the start. Well, managed to get the worst of that, the most immediate problem handled on that. And of course, now the wind's calmed down. Uh, but that's as far as I'm getting today. I will get back in that barn, um, tighten up them springs on that door, and uh, get to cleaning it out so I can get to work on that Toyota. It is time to get this cleaned up.
getting there. Oh, yeah. Well, now I got a little bit of room. I'll have to get some jack stands and jack her up. And figure out how to modify this. All right, I'm gonna get her up on jack stands and start taking some measurements. All right, got her up on stands. I'm gonna pull these off so I can find some good rollers. Finally making some moves on this thing. Good lord, it feels good just getting this far. So right here you can see um, where the makeshift spring perch was tack welded to the axle because you can't, um, with the differential in the way, you can't really modify that seat properly. And the dimensions on the Toyota hangers are the wrong dimension left to right, center to center. So um, I am going to modify up front here, um, a little uh, from center to center, a little sub piece that'll get bolted and ultimately welded in place with the spring hangers on it. And then I will uh, go about modifying the shackle end, the uh, other end of these springs at the frame. Okay, so what we're ultimately going to do here is the factory stuff will get whacked off, cleaned up to the same surface as this, um, save for that, this last little bit right here. Um, but everything will be up to that all the way across and uh, we'll make a new one that goes immediately underneath that um, with new hangers um, it'll come off right up right underneath that um, i've probably got some good 3 16 to make those this is two by two quarter inch wall which is extremely beefy plenty beefy it's just a little flash rust Quarter inch thick wall, two by two, extremely beefy. Um, so that's the next project. Also guys, I want to remind you about our annual poker run. That's this November 9th. This poker runs a benefit for the Gary Sinise Foundation. Last year, uh, November 2018, we did a different charity, but we raised almost $1,100 for that charity. Really like to beat that this year. $15 per person to buy in to play. You can find all the details about that at highandlowdesertrunnersclub.com. That's H-I-N-L-O, Desert Runners Club, all one word, dot com. You can also find us on Facebook, Facebook, dot com forward slash Mojave Dave one. Have a good one.